Wow, two videos wearing the same shirt. That's how you know your boy Evil Duos Harm is looking at his channel analytics and realizing his channel is tanking and that he needs to do something about it. So what is up guys, Evil Duos Harm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the conclusion of the season server, more specifically showing you all the things you wanna take advantage of before the season server ends, as well as how to graduate your character if you wanna get it over with by now. But once again, don't worry, if you don't graduate your character before September 15th, it will auto-graduate, you'll be able to continue using it, and everything will be perfectly fine. So don't get worried in the comment section like people always do. So anyway, there's a, quite a few things that you're going to want to take advantage of before this season server ends, and I'm going to go through them right now. First things first, try to upgrade your gear as far as you possibly can. I know it sounds redundant, I know it's dumb, and I'm not going to harp too much on it. Just as a newer player, this is a great opportunity to get your gear progressed pretty quickly here, and it doesn't get easier than this. At the conclusion of the season server here, we have login rewards that are going to provide you with time-filled black stones as well as tubula ore to help you upgrade your gear even faster if you haven't fully upgraded it yet. And additionally, the season pass has auto-completed in its entirety for you with the most recent patch to the game, which means you have a ton of resources that you can pick up there as well, including the guaranteed Frozen Tides to black stone, which will upgrade from the Tet stage to the Pen stage of gear for you, guaranteed of the tubula variety. So you should be able to get at least one piece up to the pen stage, which is a huge boost for you as you continue to play through the game. Now in that same breath, do not worry about upgrading the accessories. Don't even touch these things. It is a waste of your time. For reaching level 61, which only takes about 15 hours to do, that guy Evil Duos Harm has a great guide on it. Walk through, right through it. He's even got a live stream on his channel so you can just watch him do it too. He's really great. You should totally check him out anyway. But anyway, for hitting level 61, you're going to get a full set of accessories, Kapoch accessories. So there's no reason to even bother upgrading these. You get a free set of it, literally, at the end of the season server. So don't worry about it as a new player about upgrading those. Unless you're like a veteran who desperately wants like a set for your alt or something. But if you're a veteran, you're probably not watching this video. So I don't know, whatever. So try to upgrade your gear. I know it's redundant, and I'm going to move on. Next thing you're going to want to take advantage of is going to be completing the Pen Kapocha accessory quest line. So, I talked about this in my video yesterday. Right here, there's a quest line from Fugar that you can complete. It's like 30 seconds long. All you need to do is talk to him. I'll link the video guide in the description below, but it's literally just talk to a dude. All you gotta do is talk to the little NPC Fugar right here. All you gotta do is talk to him. Super simple. You get a free Penfosh accessory. Yeah. At the time of making this video, the necklace on the NA version of the game is the most valuable, so that is the one you should pick. Obviously subject to change going forward, but right now, necklace is a safe bet, and just generally, it is a good bet as well. So upgrading your gear, free Kapocha accessory. Next thing I want to touch on is something that I briefly covered a second ago, but that is the fact that the season pass is auto-completed for everybody. So everything in this menu is completed, regardless of your level. I'm only level 56, and I can claim all the rewards in here, so make sure to claim all those rewards. Likewise, make sure to claim all the rewards in the Seasonal Leveling box. So the Season Leveling Aid box that you probably have in your storages somewhere or on your character, make sure to claim all of these rewards as well because they will be removed from the game in addition to pretty much all the other season-specific items. So all of the season-specific tubular ores, time-filled blackstones, all of those things are going to be removed from the game. So if you're not going to use these blackstones for upgrading your gear, you have a few options to use them, and they are over here at the Fugar NPC. So if we run on over to Fugar right here, we can go to the Exchange tab and exchange them for Advice of Valks. So if you wanted Advice of Valks, you can pick them up with those, Valks Cries. So you can get use out of them like this. If you don't want to use them for RNG upgrade crap, you can go to like any storage vendor, anybody that can buy and sell stuff, um, and just sell them to the vendors for flat money. So they will be removed from your inventory if you don't sell them, so make sure to either sell them or exchange them before the end of the season. Don't let them go to waste. So that goes for all these tubula upgrade things. These leveling boxes, make sure you get all those opened up. Yeah, all, all of these things right here, everything in here, make sure to use it before the end of it. Now, there's a lot of important stuff in there, but probably the most important one to make sure that you don't let go to waste is the Fugar's timepiece. So the Fugar's timepiece, I have a full-on guide on this. It's seven minutes long to give you the short version of it. Basically lets you copy over all of your combat level as well as combat-related EXPs, so your skill EXP and combat level, basically, to a second character basically makes it so you don't have to level up a second character. So you can get a free level 61, level 62, whatever your current season character is, duplicated onto another character. So make sure to use this before the end of the season. Even if you're never going to play that character, use it. It's a complete waste to not. So make sure to use the Fugar's timepiece. If you want more information on it, I do have a full-on guide to it. So upgrade your gear as much as you can. Get your free Kaposha accessory. Make sure to use up all of your season resources before they go down the dumpster. 
And that's pretty much all of like the super important stuff that you're going to want to claim from the season server, right? So that's all the great best rewards. Now let's take a look at upgrading your character and moving it over to the normal server if you want to do it before it automatically happens on September 15th. So once again, on September 15th, character automatically converts. You don't got to do anything, okay? Don't worry. If you want to do it a bit earlier, though, there are some things that you can do. So first thing I'm going to do is really, really, really cheeky, or it's not going to work, and I'm just going to cut this out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the weapons off of my character here and put them into the storage. I then I'm going to switch over to my Musa, who is sitting over here in Heidel. And on my Musa, I'm going to take all of those weapons that I just put in there, as well as the Tuvula exchange coupons that I got for using the Fugar's timepiece. So I have three Tuvula weapon exchange coupons right here for using Fugar's timepiece. I'm then going to use the first coupon and click on the Awakening weapon to turn it into a Tuvula weapon for my Musa and basically just run it down the line. So it's super simple. All you do is click on the coupon, click on the weapon, and just hit exchange. So these are the Tuvula specific ones that you got for doing a season character using the Fugar's timepiece. These are not the normal weapon exchange coupons. They specifically say Tuvula in the name. Now I'm going to go back into the storage and drop these weapons in and switch back to my season character. I'm going to hop on into the storage, pick up those three weapons that I just exchanged, and then send my season character over to Velia to pick up the reward box, the leveling aid box, before I graduate my character. So I'll meet you over here in Velia. So I went and picked up the leveling aid box down here in Velia, opened it as far as I can, and I now have these season sweet shells to spend. To spend those, you want to talk to the NPC Igor Bartali, who's located right here in Velia. Talk to him, click on the quest tab, and you'll be able to exchange these for the rewards that you see right here. So in this case, I'm going to exchange for the wizard ghost fee just because I want the pet. And to finish the exchange, you hit the chat option and exchange the wizard ghost fee. I then am going to exchange for the inventory expansions because these inventory expansions are not bound to character. So I'll complete a couple of these. So yeah, you can see right there, they're bound to the family. So I can put these into storage and redeem them on a different character. So, And with that out of the way, the items that I want to redeem, I'm going to head on over to Fugar to begin the graduation process. So super simple. All you got to do is find Fugar, talk to him. When you get to Fugar, click on the chat option. You will see the I wish to convert my season character. Click on that option, and it's going to place a waypoint on your map. It is not going to tell you exactly where to go. It'll just place the waypoint. So all you got to do is navigate to the NPC. NPC is pretty easy to find. Follow the road to the right. Don't listen to what it tells you. And you'll get dropped off right here at the NPC inside of this building. So if you walk around the corner and talk to Layla, click on the quest option. It'll give you the at the crossroad quest. You then need to go walk around the corner and talk to Fugar again. Click on the chat option, complete Fugar's timepiece. You're then going to click on the quest option once again with Fugar down here and hit the server graduation into the big wide world. Accept that quest line. You then need to use the honorable certificate in your inventory, which is right here. So go ahead and click on that thing. Hit yes when the pop-up pops up, and that'll complete the quest. You then go ahead and talk to Fugar once again. And that is it. Congratulations, your season character is now graduated. So... You're going to have a bunch of different items in your inventory to complete this graduation now. First things first, open up a ton of space in your inventory if possible. So discard anything you can't use or sell anything and make some space. Now once you've cleared out at least 14 slots here, go ahead and open up the Tuvula Conversion Stone Box first. So go ahead and click on that and you'll get a series of stones used to convert your Tuvula gear to regular season gear. To actually do these, press the comma key on the keyboard to open up your Black Spirit. Click on the Item Reform tab at the bottom down here, so Item Reform. That'll bring up all of the pen gear that we have right now, or all of the gear you have that's Tuvula gear. And we can begin the exchanging process to select what things we want to upgrade. So, for example, to do the Tuvula armor, go ahead and click on it. Click on the Tuvula Conversion Stone, skip animation, and hit Reform. This is guaranteed to work. You don't need to worry about it. goes through every time, and that'll convert the gear piece into something that you can actually wear. So now I can put that piece of gear on and get its stats back. Now you saw at the start of this, I went ahead and transferred over these weapons on from my Musa at the start. If I open up the conversion menu here again, item reform, click on the Tuvula Crescent Blade, click on that, hit skip animation, I will have created a pen Tuvula Crescent Blade for my Musa. So I can get around the whole fact that I didn't make my Musa a seasoned character and put the gear on the Musa. So major pro tip right there for your season server graduation. You can take that Fugar's timepiece and make, a, I don't know, whatever you want to make, doesn't even matter, to get these Tuvula Exchange coupons. Use the coupons on your actual main character that you enjoy and get the weapons for them. The exact way that you saw me do it in this video. Anyway, I'm going to go through Finish Reforming now. It's just clicking a couple of buttons. Now, once you got all the conversions sorted, you can go ahead and open up the other box, and the other box has a ton of other resources in it. So some potions, drinks, 
But more importantly, it has the Season Boss Gear Exchange Coupon. So this bad boy, you're going to take over to Fugar, the NPC Fugar. So go ahead and click on him. Click on his quest option, scroll down the list, and you're going to see these different quests here. What you want to do is pick the corresponding quest under the 2021 Summer Season option that corresponds to the thing you want to turn into a piece of boss gear. This is a pretty confusing system. A lot of people screw this up. If you abandon this quest, you're screwed. So don't abandon the quest. Make sure you do this all in one shot like right now while you're watching this video. Otherwise, you'll screw something up and you'll get pissed at me. It's not my fault, I promise. So in this case, I want to use my Awakening Weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Awakening Weapon option right here. You then are going to walk on down to Tranon Underfoe. So if I head on down to Tranon Underfoe, who is the Blacksmith in Velia, down over here by the seaside. He is the left right before you get to the piers. You will see the NPC, Tranon Underfoe. If I go ahead and talk to him, click on the chat option, hand over the coupon, and then hand over my Awakening Weapon, the Kula Crescent Blade. Ugh. I will get a Tet Boss Awakening Weapon box. Now I want to make sure to open this up on my Musa, not on my lawn, otherwise I will get a lawn weapon back and I will be sad. So now I run my NPC character here back over to the Heidel storage so I can put that stuff back onto my Musa. All right, so I dumped that stuff into the storage, just jumped back onto my Musa, gonna pull it out now. So we got the two Tuvula pieces and the Tet box right there. If I then go ahead and look in my inventory, I can now put on the Pen Tuvula blade, the Pen Tuvula horn bow, and I can open up this Tet Boss Awakening box to go ahead and equip that on as well. And at last, finally, after literally months of using Oasis gear on my Musa, I finally have Tet gear. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much the whole deal here. So that's all the stuff you want to take advantage of before the end of the season server, how to cheese it a little bit to get a different boss gear set for a different character on your account, and generally how to make the most of the final couple of days here on your season server. If this video is going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please consider it. Helps grow my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, I'll see you the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.